All right. Hello, everybody. This video is meant to help walk you through the process of installing Python on your MacBook. So to begin with, you're going to want to navigate to python.org in your browser. And if you hover over downloads, you should get a list of options, right? So you can select the operating system that is pertinent to you. In this case, obviously, Mac OS. And then here we have a couple of installers we can choose from, a couple of releases we can choose from. First of all, I would suggest you go with a stable release. Uh, you're much, likely, much less likely to run into bugs if you do this. And we're after Python 3.97. And you'll note that we have two different installers available to us here, the Intel-based installer as well as the Universal 2 installer. Now, a quick word on this. I'm running an Intel-based Mac, so I'm going to grab the Intel installer. I would point out, though, that in the future, if the only thing available to you is a Universal 2 installer, don't let that intimidate you. Basically, all that this is doing, all that these Universal installers are doing, is um, they're set up to accommodate the fact that Apple is transitioning from Intel to M1-based processors, and so both of them are available and, and active out in the wild, right? So when you're using a Universal installer, it will figure out which processor you're running and uh, make the proper choice in terms of which software to install. Uh, just a quick side note on that. And you, you can trust it. Apple's done this before when they went from PowerPC to Intel-based Macs. So this isn't new for them. Uh, again, though, I'm running, I know I'm running an Intel Mac and I have an Intel-based installer available, so I'll go ahead and grab that. Okay, once the download finishes, then I'll click on the package. And we get a little intro. I want to point out as part of the intro that they do mention that they include PIP, which is basically their, their package installation program, um, package manager, whatever you want to call it, so that you can easily add other packages that don't come in the base installation later on if you want to. And so we'll come back to that in a moment in terms of making sure that you are installing it. So we'll hit continue. There's a readme. I recommend that you do read it. And then of course the license, which you should read and you'll need to agree to that to move on. You'll notice it jumped over destination select. Don't worry too much about that. But we do want to make sure here that we click on customize just to verify that the options we want have been selected. Okay, so in particular, I'm drawing attention to this option to install or upgrade PIP. And I do have that checked and I suggest that you do as well. Now, you might notice differences between the size uh, and, and what's happening over here on your machine. Uh, don't worry too much about those details. The main thing is you want to make sure that you've got the options you want to have selected, selected here. Okay, which I do. So I will go ahead and click install. It's going to ask for my password. And we'll give it a minute here. Okay, so you'll notice part of the process, it has installed a folder called Python 3.9 here in my Applications folder. Uh, and once it's finished, we click on the Installer app here again, and there's kind of an important note that I want to draw your attention to here. Uh, they're wanting to install a set of SSL root certificates, and you can download and install them, so on and so forth, uh, by clicking on the Install Certificates icon in the Finder window. So they popped up this Finder window, and that's where you'll find uh, this script to do it. So if we hit close here, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and move the installer to the trash. I have no reason to hold on to it. Um, then you'll notice here there is this script to install certificates. If you double click on that, it'll go ahead and do its thing, um, and then you're good to go with those certificates. Okay, one last thing I want to do is show you actually how to use this once you've got it installed. So it might be tempting to try to just type Python. And you'll notice that when I did this, Python 2, which was already present on my Mac, is what fired up. So um, that's not what I wanted, okay? And uh, again, if I type which Python, this should tell me which application or which uh, executable in my path is actually being grabbed. You'll notice here it's the one from user bin Python. That's not actually the one I'm wanting to execute. The one I want to execute has actually been called Python 3. So if I say which Python 3, you'll notice that it's been installed in a totally different location. So when you're wanting to invoke Python 3.97, which we just installed, we'll actually type Python 3, and then we're up and running with the version we wanted. Similarly, if you simply try to type pip, you may get a command not found or not otherwise not what you're after. 
uh, the version of pip that was installed is actually pip3, which was installed um, in the same framework location that Python 3 was installed to. Okay, so if you did everything right, it should be there. And so if you're trying to execute pip and somewhere you see uh, instructions for doing it and they simply say pip and then some other stuff, you'll do the same thing. You'll just type pip3 and then whatever else uh, you needed to put. Okay, all right, that should get you up and running with a basic installation of Python. I hope that helps. Talk to you later.